So the ego in its state that it is in now is so detrimental to um, the state, to your state of being because it's a constructed um, self-identity based off of impositions, right? So from the time where we were born, we were conditioned to be a certain way. And that's what your ego is based on. And we're still being conditioned to be a certain way. So the things we do, um, the way we look, uh, certain standards, beauty standards, the boxes that we put ourselves into, these are all things that are made up by the social structure, right? But the, nothing's wrong with having a social structure. The thing is that we stray away from um, praising individual identities. And I think, you know, now it's becoming more of a thing to, um, to have people be more of who they are. But there's still this context of criticism if it falls out of, uh, if it goes too left or too astray or, you know, if, if it's not the fad at the time, you know what I'm saying? There's, there's this whole criticism around it. We're afraid of each other's criticism. You know what I'm saying? The ego is trying to protect us, right? Protect, we're protecting ourselves, but it's, it's insane because we're protecting ourselves from each other. So essentially, we're, since we're of one spirit, we're protecting ourselves from ourselves. You know what I'm saying? So that means we are afraid of ourselves and the ego is a construction of that fear that we have for ourselves. And it just doesn't make sense because there's no reason for mankind to be afraid of itself. You know what I'm saying? Every, everything we have in place to protect ourselves, guns and wars and everything, it's, it's to protect ourselves from other human beings, you know? And, and, and this fear stems from the fact that we think our nature is uh, vicious. You know what I'm saying? We think we are, the core of us is, um, is, is bad. You know what I'm saying? Is, uh, the core of us is not of a good nature, but that's not true. The state of the ego, the fear and um, the violence and the, um, the pride, the different statuses, the attack, the defense, the power dynamics, all of that are symptoms of a separation, the separation we have from ourselves. You know what I'm saying? So it's not who we are. Who we are are the things that we're seeking, right? That recognition, that satisfaction, that um, harmony, you know what I'm saying? That love, all those things are what we are. But since we're separated from the truth of who we are, we are afraid of who we are because we've constructed an identity that's outside of who we are. And it's the opposite of us. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's devoid. It feels like it's lacking. So it tries to take and it goes against our, our basic nature, which is to give and to be and to uh, be whole. The, the ego feels like there's a lack. Right. But since we base our whole identity on the ego, we feel like we're lacking um, um, as we live through our ego. So that's why we have this need to get, to get, to get, to protect, to be powerful, to be dominant, to have status, to be seen and, and, and loved and appreciated by others. You know what I'm saying? It comes from um, um, that separation. So that's why it's imperative to know yourself, to get more acquainted with yourself so that you can have a better state of life, a, a better outlook on life and, and to see the truth and not to be so caught up in the fear. You know what I'm saying? Because we don't know our true power. We are powerful as human beings. Um, every one of us, you know what I'm saying? Every one of us is powerful and we're valuable. And we don't know that because all of our energy is going towards the ego and, and trying to get more and trying to be more powerful, trying to be more than what we are. But what you are is everything. You know what I'm saying? So there's not nothing that you can get, nothing that the ego is trying to sell you, nothing that society is trying to sell you is going to make you more or make you less than what you, what you are. If you are everything, you know what I'm saying? You're the creator of your own reality. You are a piece of the creator. So you have everything, you are everything and nothing can take that away from you, you know? So once we get to a place where we truly understand that delusion, where we truly understand what's happening, it's important to transfer that energy, you transfer that energy to the truth, right? So you're switching the lens in which you see life. You, instead of seeing life through the fear and the lies of that fear, you start seeing the truth of your life, right? And you start living in that truth. To see it is one thing, but then to put it to practice is a whole nother thing, right? Because at that point, you have to see beyond what, you, what your eyes are, are showing you. You have to see beyond what your five senses are showing you. And you have to see life for the truth of what it is, right? And that's, that's kind of like you, you transcend the physical in terms of that, in, in, in once you do that, you know what I'm saying? And um, you have to have faith that if you can see beyond this situation, if you can live beyond... Um, the delusion that your world is going to transform because it will, but it's not, it's not going to be evident within the physical, you know what I'm saying? At, at the beginning, you're going to have to relinquish what you thought was necessary. So at one point, you know, to make yourself feel bigger, you thought status and pride and power, domination, envy, attack, violence, and defense are necessary. And that's how we, we build our lives, right? That's what social life is about. It's about gaining that status. It's about being powerful. It's about, um, all of these things, it's about uh, 
attack and, and defending what's yours and, and being violent. But none of these things have any true value. You know what I'm saying? And it's hard to say that because that's what we pride ourselves on. We pride ourselves on all the things we've been through, right? All, all the hardships that we've been through and, um, uh, and, and how strong we are, right? The, the things that you've been through and the hardships that you've been through have value because of what you learn from it. Not in itself, you know what I'm saying? It's not a badge of honor to, to go through horrible things in itself. The badge of honor is learning from those things, you know? Um, it's not uh, a, a badge of honor to attack another person because you're essentially attacking yourself. When, when you pride yourself on uh, being defensive and, and uh, it, all you're doing is still attacking yourself because you believe that there's something to be defensive against, you know what I'm saying? You believe another person or another situation, there's something to be defensive against rather than um, um, priding yourself on just having discernment and, and growing from a situation, you know what I'm saying? So. Um, that defense is a, is, is a wall, is, is closing yourself off rather than seeing, rather than just seeing reality and, and saying, I'm not going to, I'm probably not going to do that the same way again. You know what I'm saying? You close yourself, we close ourselves off and are like, fuck that. I'm not doing that again. I'm not, you know, uh, uh, this person's not going to hurt me again. Da, da, da. It's, 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 there's a blockage there, right? So we harden our hearts, we harden ourselves because we see vulnerability as weakness when it's not a weakness. Vulnerability is strength, but it's seen as weak and, and it's not a, uh, doesn't mean just being open to attack, right? Vulnerability doesn't mean being open to attack. It means having the strength to um, to heal from from things that have caused you pain and still be open, still be yourself, still be true to yourself, right? And 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 move beyond the the trauma. You know what I'm saying? To actually heal from the trauma. That's strength. That's strength. The 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 um, defense is the weakness, right? It's the pride is the weakness. The attack is the weakness because there's this need to make yourself feel bigger, right? You don't, you, you stop noticing, you stop realizing that you are whole and you are big and you are um, everything, you know what I'm saying? So so those things are put in place to make you feel a certain way. And it's a temporary feeling. That's why people get into the habit of um, of doing harm to others because, because they want to keep getting that high of feeling superior, feeling dominant, you know? And it has nothing to do with actually being who they are. It's just a fear. It's just fear. It's just fear that they're not good enough. Fear that there that there's holes within them. You know, fear that they're bad people. Like, and 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 that is the that's what's keeping our world going right now. That's what we need to wake up to. Um, and I think the world is definitely waking up to that. You know, because you see more people and they're like, "What are we doing?" I, they're they're questioning what we're doing. People, more people want peace. More people want um, to live in harmony. More people are pointing out what's what's not right. What's going on? What's, what's wrong? And it's a lot of things. It's basically our whole social structure, right? It's basically not even our social structure, but but how we we are our internal structure. We realize that most people are depressed, you know, Be, being depressed and and um, um, having all these illnesses are again looked at as a badge of honor when it's not. It's 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 a it's a call for healing, you know, all of these things. But we're seeing it more and more in people. And of course, like society does, is being capitalized off of. But if people can actually tune into themselves and go and, and try to figure out what's wrong with them and try to heal, try to heal, try to heal. There's, there's this thing in, in um, you know, they say depression it is you're always going to have it. And that's the dumbest shit I have ever heard. Like, I hate that. I hate that that's that said that, oh, I'm always going to have this. So people make it as part of their identity, that, that their illnesses are part of their identity. And it's not true. It's an illness. It's an illness. It can be healed and it can be healed by by the recognition of what is causing it. You know what I'm saying? It's a symptom of something else. It's a symptom of our separation from ourselves. You know what I'm saying? All this mental illness is a symptom from separation from ourselves and it can be healed. It can be healed. It cannot be healed in the way society is structured right now. It cannot be healed in the way that we think right now and that we see right now. But as we as we change our perception, as we change the way we uh, our outlooks on life, you can do it for yourself first, and and then it'll grow and and um and as our just like any fad, we keep and we see it more and more. We see it more and more on social media that um, fads take off in an instant. You know what I'm saying? So if there is a fad of people healing themselves and and transforming their world, transforming their outlook and their reality. That's going to spread like wildfire. You know what I'm saying? Realizing that you can heal from this shit. It's not your identity. Depression is not your identity. And and and, and the same thing of of wanting to um, label yourself. You know what I'm saying? To is is the same fear of not feeling special. You know what I'm saying? You want to give yourself uh, an illness. You want to make yourself feel special. You want to make yourself feel like, you know, I'm a different special being. When you already are, these labels are not required for that. You know, just be who you are. And, and that is 
who you are is what you bring to the table. That's what's special. There's no special than any other, no more special than any other person. So having to put all these labels on ourselves, you know, um, and, and just living within these labels and, and telling ourselves that there's no way out of it, there's the, that this is who I am, that um, um, I'm depressed, I'm violent. No, no, you, you explore you without any labels 